Okay, we are making some progress. Welcome to the Physics GRE Solutions to Exam GR0877. We're on problem number 21. For an adiabatic process involving an ideal gas having volume V and temperature T, which of the following is constant? Where they say that gamma equals Cp over Cpv, where Cp is the specific heat for constant pressure, CV is the specific heat for constant volume. So an adiabatic process means no heat's exchanged, all the energy is transferred as work. So for an adiabatic process, P pressure times V volume raised to gamma is constant, where gamma again equals CP over CV. So the ideal gas law, PV equals NKT, we can go from there, P equals N. K times the quantity T V uh, V raised to the minus one. So N K T V raised to the minus one times V gamma equals constant. T V to the minus one V gamma equals T V gamma minus one equals constant. And that is letter C. 22, an electron has total energy equal to four times its rest energy. The momentum of the electron is one of my favorite equations, a relativistic energy equation. E squared equals P squared, C squared plus M squared, C to the fourth. So E equals 4MC squared. Um, and so that comes from the fact that the electron has total energy equal to four times its rest energy, um, which is mc squared e equals mc squared that's our rest energy four times that so four mc squared that quantity squared equals p squared c squared plus m squared c to the fourth so therefore um, 16 m squared c to the fourth equals p squared c squared plus m squared c to the fourth do some algebra 15 square root mc equals p so that is letter c Number 23, two spaceships approach Earth with equal speeds as measured by an observer on Earth, but from opposite directions. A meter stick on one spaceship is measured to be 60 centimeters long by an occupant of the other spaceship. What is the speed of each spaceship as measured by the observer on Earth? So our length contraction formula, L equals LO times one minus V squared over C squared, that quantity square root. So we know that um, the length contraction L over LO equals 0.6, so that equals one minus V squared over C squared quantity square root. Let's just set C equal to one, so 0.36 equals one minus V squared. So do some algebra, V equals 0.8. That's a relative velocity between A and B. So if VB equals negative VA, then we're gonna call U prime. <coughs> and let's refer over here. Thank you, hyperphysics, they have, an, wealth of information that they have on their website. Um, so from from that you can see that U prime equals negative 0.8 and U equals negative V. So negative V equals V minus 0.8 divided by 1 minus 0.8 V. Again we're going to do some algebra and we're going to get to a final equation where we can see that 0.4 V squared minus V plus 0.4 equals 0. So we can plug in our answers and only 0.5 works. Um, so 0.5, and remember we did units of C, we set C equal to 1, so that is answer B. 24, a meter stick with a speed of 0.8 C moves past an observer in the observer's reference frame. How long does it take the stick to pass the observer? So again, L equals LO, uh, length equals the um, rest length times 1 minus V squared over C squared, that quantity square root. Again, we're going to set C equal to 1. L equals 1 meter, um, a meter stick, so 1 meter times the quantity 1 minus 0.8 squared, that quantity square root, that's going to equal 0.6. So um, the change in time, the time that it takes to pass, equals the length divided by the velocity, equals the initial length times 0.6 divided by V. So that's going to equal um, 0.6 divided by 0.8 C, and we're going to again do some algebra. And 
um, that is going to equal, so again, remember that uh, C, the speed of light, equals about 3 times 10 to the 8 meter per second. That times 0.8 is the 2.4 times 10 to the 8 in the denominator. So that's equal to 2.5 times 10 to the negative 9 seconds. Remember, we have our unit chart provided by ETS. We're not going to scroll all the way back. Um, but 10 to the minus 9 is 1 nanosecond. So we have 2.5 times 10 to the minus 9 seconds. That's 2.5 nanoseconds. Answer B. 25. Consider a set of wave functions, uh, psi of x, which of the following conditions guarantees that the functions are normalized and mutually orthogonal. The indices i and j take on the values in the set 1, 2, dot, 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 n. So must equal chronic or delta to be mutually orthogonal. So we're going to have delta ij equals 0 if i does not equal j, and delta ij equals 1 if i equals j. And then the other criteria is to be normalized, we have to have psi star psi equals 1. So if i equals j, then solution E would be the only answer to guarantee that the functions are normalized and mutually orthogonal. Um, so as you can see, ij equals 1, we need it to equal 1, this to be normalized, and it also satisfies the chronic delta, and so that is answer E. Number 26, the normalized ground state wave function of hydrogen is 2 over, uh, there's a lot of coins there, you can read it for yourself, um, where AO is the Bohr radius, was the most likely distance that the electron is from the nucleus. So AO is the Bohr radius in uh, hydrogen, is the, the ground state of hydrogen, so that's the one model that the Bohr radius is extremely accurate. So by definition, the Bohr radius AO is the most likely distance an electron is from the nucleus in the ground state of hydrogen, and that is simply letter D. 27, the lifetime for the 2p to 1s transition in hydrogen is 1.6 times 10 to the negative 9 seconds. The natural line width for the radiation emitted during the transition is approximately, so we're going to use the time and energy uncertainty principle here. So delta E, delta T, change of energy times the change of time is greater than H. So the change in energy equals HF. Remember, that's um, the frequency. And so the change of frequency must be greater than 1 over the change in time. So the frequency equals about 6 times 10 to the 8th per second. And so 6 times 10 to the 8th per second divided by 2 pi equals 10 to the 8th hertz. And we need to remember that 10 to the 6th hertz equals 1 megahertz. So that equals 100 megahertz. And that is answer C. Number 28, a spring of force constant K is stretched a certain distance. It takes twice as much work to stretch a second spring by half this distance. The force constant of the second spring is, so the change in kinetic energy equals the work, and that's going to be from x equals 0 to x equals x. So 1 half K2 x squared equals 1 half K1 x squared, and we have 1 half K2 equals 0.5x, that quantity squared, equals 2 times, remember, twice as much work, 2 times 1 half the quantity k1x squared. So 1 over 8k2x squared equals k1x squared, so k2 simply equals 8 times k1. That is answer D. Twenty-nine on a friction frictionless surface, a block of mass m moving at speed v collides elastically with another block of the same mass that is initially at rest. After the collision, the first block moves at an angle theta to its initial direction and has a speed v over two. The second block speed after the collision is, and we're just going to apply the conservation of energy here. So one half mv squared equals one half mv two squared plus one half m times 0.5 v that quantity squared. So v squared equals v2 squared plus 1 quarter. We're going to apply the square root to the 0.5. 1 quarter v squared. So 3 fourths v squared equals v2 squared. So 3 square root 
divided by 2 times v equals v2, and that is answer C. Number 30, which of the following gives Hamilton's canonical equations of motion? H is the Hamiltonian, QI are the generalized coordinates, and PI are the generalized momenta. So we just at this we're just gonna have to memorize Hamilton's equations. These are so fundamental. So do dp d, divided by dt, that is p dot, and dq divided by dt, that is q dot. So p dot equals negative um, the partial derivative of h divided by the partial derivative of q, and then q dot equals the partial derivative of h divided by the partial derivative of p. And that is answer D. Okay, that's another 10. This is going by quick. We'll see you in the next, uh, next set of 10 solutions.